In this video, we'll have a look at two new templates for Thrive landing pages that are built to help you get leads before you even launch your website or product. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and let's look at these two templates. First of all, if you are in Thrive Content Builder and you're choosing your landing page, Note that in the filter settings, there's now a new option called coming soon. And if you tick this, you will see all of the pages of this type. And right now we have these two. So we have one in the big picture page set and one in the fame page set. And here's what they look like. This is the big picture coming soon page. And this is the fame coming soon page. And let's have a quick look at the layout of this. So there's a, a fairly simple but effective logic behind the layout here. At the top, we have some space for a logo and the simple text that will inform your visitors right away that this is a coming soon page. Then we have some space for a nice big headline and here you can tell your visitors what this page is about or maybe what your coming product is about. And you know, keep it short, just like one or two juicy sentences or statements about what is about to come will get people's attention. Then we have a countdown which of course is optional, but if you have a, a, a launch date in mind, if you know when this is gonna happen, it's great to have a countdown to give people an idea of when this is gonna happen. And then we have the opt-in form. So this is where you can invite your visitors to sign up to your mailing list to get notified when the launch happens. And then finally, we also have some social icons, but we've deliberately kept these very secondary. So, because the, the main goal here is to get that lead that's much more important than to get some social followers so we've kept a clear visual hierarchy here where you know the main emphasis is on getting that lead and the social stuff is secondary so the way you can set up this page is as usual right you can click on any image click on change image to upload your own logo you can click on any text and just edit the text as you need it for the countdown you can click on it and set your custom date and time for when you want this countdown to run to zero. And for the opt-in form, you can click on this, click on autoresponder code as usual. This is where you paste in your form code to add everyone who signs up here to your own mailing list. And then finally, for the social icons, these are simply images. So you can click on this and just link to your profile page, right? So to your Facebook page or to your Twitter uh, profile or whatever that is. And I recommend that you open that in a new window. So even if someone clicks on one of these social icons, they can go and follow you on Twitter, but the tab where they can sign up with their email address will still be open. So as you can see, this is a fairly simple setup, a fairly short page and very easy for you to edit and use for your own site. And that really is a very important point as well. The idea of creating a coming soon page like this ties in very closely to the idea of rapid implementation that we've been talking about a lot. So, you know, you have an idea for a website, you know, okay, I'm going to build this website. And the first thing you do is you just put one of these coming soon pages on your homepage. It will take you no more than a few minutes. And so you already have something there that can capture some leads for you so that, you know, if you start talking about your project, if you maybe have the occasional link to your project and the occasional person coming across it, you can already capture that lead. The purpose here is more of a secondary lead generation. The idea isn't that you would be actively sending lots of traffic to a page like this, but here are some examples of, of when these pages are ideal to use. So like I just said, before launching a website, right? If you know, okay, I'm gonna start this website, this is the first thing you do. Uh, you put that on your homepage. It can also be before launching a product. So maybe you already have a product line or you have a website and you know, okay, I'm starting to work on this product. And you can put this as the first thing on your product page so that even before launching it, as you start talking about your plans, as you maybe start um, informing your audience about what you're gonna do, they have a place where they can already sign up and where they can see that this is actually going to happen. And then finally, also after closing a product, so if you have something, let's say like a coaching program that you know is only available for a limited time, after you close that down, you can put up something like a page like this, especially if you know that it's gonna reopen. Otherwise, just put on the page and you know leave away the countdown and just say, sorry, this is not available anymore. And again, the idea isn't, you know, you wouldn't be promoting this page, but if you've done a launch, then you're probably still going to be getting traffic there. And it makes sense to tell people, okay, you know, 
thanks for coming, but this uh, project isn't available anymore. And sign up here to get notified if, you know, when the next version is available or whatever it, the case may be. So that is how you can make use of these two new coming soon page templates in Thrive landing pages and get leads before you even launch your next website or product.